push. Whoa. Oh my god, the swordfish. It just got destroyed by the pufferfish. That's amazing. So if it hits one of the spikes. Oh wow. See that it turns the pufferfish actually destroys the swordfish. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the Azza family. Hello and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish Modded. Today we've got my favorite mod of all time back. I have the ability to shoot fish once more. I'm so glad to have this back. So we can actually shoot swordfish at this guy here. So we can actually literally just shoot a bunch of swordfish. Now when these swordfish do contact this guy, it does actually cause him damage. So you can see there is some bleeding happening there. Excellent. Now we can actually increase the size of these as well quite a fair bit. Let's make this significantly bigger. There we go. Now, with, when they're much bigger like that, we probably want to also increase their power. The shoot power here. Oh my god. Let's go find him again. Here we go. Come here, buddy. I'm going to get you. I intend to get you. Oh my god. Literally knocked him out of the park there. Look at that. Amazing. We literally stabbed him to death with a swordfish. That's amazing. Okay. Let's just swim around. We'll see if we can actually find the Meg or something else which is rather big. Ideally not another swordfish. Let's find something a bit different. And we'll see what we can actually do with that. If we can't actually find one, then we will just spawn one in. We have the ability to spawn anything we want, guys. As you can see, we are traveling incredibly fast through the water as well. Okay. So in this case, I think it may be better just to quickly spawn whatever we want. So if we go to the fish select here, we can actually come in here and then... What do we want? Let's find something. Maybe towards the start of the screen. As you can see, these are listed actually alphabetically now. So we probably want to spawn... Oh, here we go. It looks pretty cool, right? It's a great white shark. Um... This one, awesome, let's go. So if I left click on this with holding shift and shift, it'll actually spawn it out like that, that's cool. Awesome. So, one of those in there, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and refine our swordfish once again. These are listed in alphabetical order, so it is incredibly easy. There's, an, there's a Megalodon as well, we may just spawn in one of those as well, because those are incredibly useful. Wonderful. So QRS, there's our swordfish. We're gonna shift click on him to select him. There you go, there's the Megalodon with LOL written on it. Wonderful. Okay, come here, buddy. No, go away! Okay, we are gonna battle him here, guys. We just knocked him, we literally knocked him a fair distance away. Oh my god, we just shot the thing straight into its mouth! Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, let's pick him up. So we can actually pick fish up, guys, which is pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and carry him out of the water. We're gonna shoot him. Come here, mate. As you can see, a little bit of a test ground here going on. Excellent. Oh, yes! That actually works exactly as expected. Wonderful. So, we can shoot these massive fish. I wonder if you can actually kill the swordfish with swordfish. Or is there like, I think there's no team damage here. So if they're the same fish, they can't actually damage each other. I think that's how it works. There's another Megalodon, excellent. Let's see, that's one hit. It's two hits. Is he dead? He's, no, he's still alive, guys. Three hits. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Okay, so three hits to kill him. Let's shoot him again. Four hits. I want to see how many to turn him into dust. Five hits so far. Six hits. Oh, that was a miss. Six hits. Seven hits. There you go, guys. So seven hits, you can destroy that bad boy. Completely destroyed. All right, let's try, the, let's try this, the whale here. Okay, that's one hit. Whoa! He just got knocked miles away. Two hits. So two hits to kill. Three. Four. Five hits. The five hits to turn him into dust like that. That's absolutely awesome. Look at this little guy here. He thinks he's going to get away from me. And, no! You are mine! Okay, I don't know if we got him, but I feel like we did. Excellent. Okay. I believe there is a button I implemented which actually cleans up all the stuff. There we go, I did it. C or V or something along those lines. Excellent. V, there we go, V does it. So we can actually destroy every single fish in the entire game, which is actually currently loaded. That's pretty sweet. Alright. There must be some more stuff. I can actually clean up the food as well by pressing C. What do you think you're doing, mate? No, you will not eat that food. It's not for you. We go. Here's a, here's a shark, guys. A great white shark. Now, I can actually freeze these in midair and have a look at them. You can actually inspect it incredibly closely. Alright, that's really cool looking. Alright, let's go ahead. Boom! Oh! Instantly! Instantly turns into food, guys. That's absolutely incredible. Now, I believe there should be some turtles here. Okay, so these have been painted blue. The blue, tur blue painted turtles. Oh my god. Literally, they just turn into food instantly. That's amazing. Absolutely. Amazing. Okay, dokes. So, I wonder how fast we could actually shoot these. Hmm. We can make, like, some amazing flying stuff like that. That's so cool. I want to spawn something even more powerful. 
There we go. We're going to spawn something really, 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 really powerful here, guys. And see what that actually does for us. So we can see our swordfish is number 110. Yeah, we're going to make a massive puffer fish. So there we go. Puffer fish. Turn the power down so it doesn't shoot out. It's level 37. Let's go like level 500. Here's a level 500 puffer fish, guys. Bush. Look at that. Level 500 puffer fish. So if we come back over to our swordfish. We're going to drop the level back down to probably like 30. That's roughly what we were using before. And we're going to go probably about 100. Oh my god. Come back. 110, we want a bit more power, though, probably about like 100. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can destroy this bad boy. Bush! Whoa! Oh my god, the swordfish! It just got destroyed by the pufferfish! That's amazing! So if it hits one of the spikes... Oh, wow! See that? It turns... The pufferfish actually destroys the swordfish. Look at that! Instantly! Instantly destroys it! That's amazing! So that must mean we can actually shoot puffer fish as our projectiles as well. Wow, look at that. Look at all the blood and guts and everything flying around. That's amazing. Okay, come here, buddy. Let's see if we can, we're gonna try and destroy him. We are gonna try and destroy him, guys. We are hitting him. We are causing some, oh my God. Leg, 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 no! I'm pressing the clean up button, guys. Luckily, there's a clean up button to clean up the food. Okay, come here, buddy, come here. Oh my God, too much food, too much food! Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, we'll drop the UI off for now. Let's do it. Whoa, he is defending it. Giant puffer fish, guys. Let's shoot, let's shoot some swordfish at this guy. The swordfish just bats off. That's amazing. I like seeing them turn into food as well. I wonder if it's possible to kill this guy. It's going to be absolutely amazing to figure out, guys. Okay. I don't know if it's actually dealing him damage or not. I don't know. I really don't know if this is dealing damage. Oh my god. This guy might be invulnerable, guys. It's actually possible. This guy is actually invulnerable. It's very possible. All right, we are going to increase the uh, level here. Let's increase the level. We're going to go a level 70 swordfish. Okay, level 70 swordfish, guys. Activate! Bush! Oh my god, that's a serious amount of food there. That creates so much lag. Okay, let's increase the power we're shooting it at. Let's go like 200. All right. Bush! Oh my god. Every time one of these massive ones actually gets hit... Look at that. Literally, my game is frozen while it tries to calculate the amount of food that's going to get dropped out. Oh no, we did it! We actually did it! We killed the puffer fish, guys! We actually killed the puffer fish. Oh my god. Look how much food there is. My game is literally frozen here, guys. Literally frozen. I am trying to press the clean up button as we talk. Oh my god, I think we should give it a sec, guys. Let's see if it actually recovers. Or is it going to be a full-blown crash? Oh my god. I think it's going to be a full-blown crash, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go, guys. When the pufferfish dies, it's a full-blown crash. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and jump back in quickly. Okay, so we have actually loaded back into the game. We will stopped it out to the roof map, guys. We are actually back again. Jump into our spectate mode here. Excellent. Okay, wonderful. So, I love having these controls where we can move incredibly fast. It allows us to actually find stuff really, really quickly. Now, I believe... There, there she is. Queen of the River, as you can see, let's have a look at her face here. She's incredibly creepy looking, but that is the Queen of the River. Wonderful. We know that number 110 is going to be our swordfish. We're going to shoot some swordfish at this lady here and see what she actually does. We'll just shoot some level 1 at her to start with, and to see how she actually reacts to this. Okay. Bush. Oh, I think they're probably too small. Okay, maybe we need to drop the power a little bit here. Let's go like 36 power. Okay, so we can shoot them out. She doesn't really seem to... Whoa, they bounce right off her. It's unclear if it's actually causing her any damage. Actually, no, we can see it's done a tiny bit of damage there. So you can see... Look at the top left hand in the corner of the screen there, guys. Um, 5.37. She has 5.37 health. 5.37 if we shoot her. Boom. 5.346. 5.30. So it is dealing some damage there. Let's go ahead and increase the level here, guys. We're going to go level 10. Boom. 4.6 goes to 3.4, 2.8, yeah, we're doing some serious damage here. 1.6, let's drop her in the water. She can swim around and we're going to take her out. Should be like two more, I think. Boom. Oh yeah, that's done it. That's destroyed it. That's destroyed Queen of the River. Now the swordfish are the owners of the river, guys. That's amazing. So guys, as you can see, 
shooting fish with other fish, incredibly fun. I love that that actually works, it's actually so cool. Now guys, if you do have ideas for mods, do let us know, we'd love to take aboard some of your mods for cool ideas. Guys, if you want to see more from this series, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and make sure you do smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next episode.